Today we're taking a look at the Air Jordan 8 Aqua. Welcome back to Kicks on Kicks, my channel where I review sneakers. And today we're looking at this pair of 2015 Air Jordan 8 Aquas. Really love this sneaker, always have. And now I have a pair to show you guys. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and take this out of the box. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Interestingly enough, these did not come with any sort of shoe trees in them. Just first thing I noticed out of the box. Let's take a look at the box real quick. Uh, if you were buying Jordans in 2014, 2015, then you'll remember this box well. I want to say they introduced this box back when they first started doing the remastered Jordans, uh, like 2014, 2015. But plain black box, flat black, with a nice little gold foil jump man right there. Uh, you also got a gold foil 23 here on the corner of the box. And uh, as far as this one, we got Air Jordan 8 Retro, black, track red, true red, flint red, flint gray, excuse me, bright concord. So there you go. That's the box. I will say the Jordans were coming with like this. 23 paper all over them during this time as you can see this is plain white paper so there you go just for legit checking purposes um these didn't come with the right paper now let's look at the shoes since that's what we're here to see anyway this is the air jordan 8 aqua uh for my money the best air jordan 8 colorway i really love this sneaker um and from the bottom up just real quick you got you know, plain black Jordan 8 outsole. Of course, the fa my favorite part right here is this color pop on this uh, shank plate here. But you got your aqua, you got your teal, uh, or excuse me, you got, you got your teal, you got your Concord purple, you got this yellow, black, red. Really love the colors here. This shoe, like more than any other shoe, to me just says 90s. And that's probably because there's no other colorway that says 90s like that Charlotte Hornets purple and teal colorway. And it's represented really, really well on this shoe. Maybe it's because I'm I'm from North Carolina. Maybe because I was watching Fresh Prince and stuff back then. I don't know. This just always looked good to me. I like this better than the playoffs. I even like this better than the Chrome Jordan 8s, which aren't an OG colorway, but are one of my favorites. Anyway, from the uh, midsole. You might notice there's like metallic speckling in this uh, or flex in this paint. So we got this metallic purple going on, uh, kind of glittery. I don't know if that glitter is supposed to be in the this blue on the midsole, but the glitter still goes all through the uh, around the back. Like I said, that dark Concord purple, which Concord ends up being an iconic color on the Jordan brand, the Great Fives. Obviously, the Concord Jordan 11s. That purple just never gets old. Anyway, got that nice aqua here on the medial side. Moving up a little bit, we got this little, um, I don't know what we're even calling this little mudguard piece. Um, but every Jordan 8 has a slightly different pattern. Uh, this aqua 8 has cool brush strokes there. Aqua, Concord, and a little bit of black. Love it. And that's pretty much where the color stops on this shoe. The rest of it we got, like on the back, got your pretty standard gray, uh, kind of a new buck here, which is cool. Well, I'll call it a short hair suede, but got that there. Of course, uh, we got flat black Dura buck for the rest of the shoe. And I like that it's, it's malleable. It's not super stiff. I know a lot of Jordans are like crazy stiff. This it's pretty soft, but honestly, it might be too soft if we compare it to the retail version of the shoe, since, of course, this is uh, not that. Uh, we got your famous, like, you know, Air Jordan straps. You've seen these, the cross straps, Air Raid inspired. Uh, Tinker Hatfield, who designed these, also designed the Air Raid, so it makes sense. And ultimately, this shoe does look pretty good for outdoor wear. Um, the other, only other pop of color we have here is probably my favorite defining feature of the Jordan 8. 
and that is this chenille patch here. So again, we got the aqua, we got the concord, we got the black and red all outlined in this nice gold uh, right there. So very cool pop of color. Again, love that. And that's pretty much the shoe. Now, like I said, we can look at legit checking indicators because this, you know, is not the uh, authentic retail product. So let's take a black light, black light, see what we can find. I do see a few pen marks, like even just looking right here. My black light is dying, so it's not really going to get you anything. But you could actually see them. They're pretty visible right here along the outline there. Um, the other thing that I would look at, honestly, is just how the stitching is around these straps. Usually on these um, these replica sneakers, a lot of times it's the stitching is where the corners are cut and you can kind of see loose threads here and there. So that's probably the biggest red flag for me besides the overall shape of the shoe and toe box. Like I said, this one didn't come with any sort of shoe trees or anything. So it's kind of like caving in a little bit. I mean, I guess your shoe would look like that after wearing eventually, but out of the box, not so sure. Um, anything on this shoe? I'm not seeing any extra glue. I don't see as many pen marks on this shoe as I did on previous on the other one. So this one looks pretty good. Other than that, I would just, like I said, grab a retail shoe to compare it to for shape purposes. But all in all, pretty dope shoe. And um, I'm glad to have it. Huge shout out to PickPop for sending it over. And I'll see you guys in another video real soon. Peace.